Hello everyone! I hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to help plan your holiday in Golmark, India during the snowy winters. Also, we will share one of our experiences staying in Kolahoi Green Heights, a four-star hotel in Golmark. This is not a paid promotion video. Golmark, the meadow of flowers, is one of Asia's premier hill resorts known for its legendary beauty, prime location. This video is split into four sections, and they are how to reach Golmark, day-wise itinerary and activities to do, a hotel room tour, and overall budget of the trip. We recommend you watch till the end of the video. First, let's see how to reach Golmark. The best way to reach Golmark is to drive from Srinagar city, which is around 50 kilometers away and takes around two to two and a half hours to reach. Srinagar has a domestic airport and can be easily reached from Delhi or any major cities in India. On your first day in Galmark, we recommend you visit the gondola ride, which is the must thing to do in Galmark. The gondola ride is the second longest and second highest cable car in the world. Gondola ride has two phases. The first phase reaches an altitude of 3,950 meters or 10,000 feet above the sea level. The second phase reaches an altitude of 4,200 meters or 13,800 feet. If you're traveling during winter, you can find plenty of snow activities in phase one itself. Here's the tip. Gondola ride tickets are available online and there are limited tickets per day. So buy the tickets online from authorized website or via travel agents. We recommend you book a guide before getting to gondola ride. Check the video description for details. The activities to do are skiing, sledging, and snow bike ride. Well, don't forget to build a snowman or snow castle. The phase one ticket costs 740 Indian rupees or nine US dollars. The phase two ticket costs 950 Indian rupees or 12 US dollars. On your second day, you can visit the Bhattapatri and Maharaja Palace. Bhattapatri is a trekking sport which has beautiful meadows and at 9 kilometers from Galmark. Bhattapatri can be reached only with the help of local guide and driver with a locally registered vehicle. The area is under Indian military control, so you need a special permit to enter. Your local guide can arrange the entry permit. The major things to do here is to trek to hilltop to see the nearby villages of Pakistan. The trek during winter is very challenging and one may need the help of porters to take the top using sledges. Other things to do is visit a frozen lake and visit shepherds' houses. The shepherds usually stay only during summers and leave the place during winters. we can visit the Maharaja Hari Singh Palace in Galmark. Let us know an interesting fact about Maharaja Hari Singh. Maharaja Hari Singh agreed to accede his state, Jammu and Kashmir, to the Dominion of India and signed the accession agreement. On 27th of October 1947, the then Governor General of India, Lord Mountbatten, accepted the accession. After the accession, Jammu and Kashmir region became a part of India officially. Now, let's have a room tour of Kalahai Green Heights Hotel in Galmark. This is a four-star hotel situated in the heart of Galmark, very close to the gondola. The hotel provides centralized heating during winters. The room you're currently looking is a club room facing the street. Now, let's see the budget. The three nights overall budget for this itinerary costs you around 1,400 US dollars for two adults and one child. The budget includes your return transfers from Srinagar. Please check the detailed explanation of the budget shown in the video for your future planning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button if you like this video, share your thoughts and comments, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.